Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and another part of our music app series. So in the previous video, we set up the theme, we set up the splash screen. And in this video, we are going to set up our core foundation of the project. So basically, we will implement coin. And along with that, I'll see if we could uh, squeeze in retrofit side as well into this project and uh, maybe call some, some sort of test data so that we can identify if all the implementation that we did is actually working. Okay. So let's just get started without wasting any time. So the first thing as a dependency we need to do is that we need to uh, add this and let's just try again and see if this works. We'll be adding dependency one by one so that we don't mix up things and we don't end up in situation where we don't know at exactly uh, what happened. So, okay. So yeah. Okay. So this is done. And once it is done, what I'll do is that I'll change it to version catalog like we did for splash clean now basically the coin is there so the next thing would be to integrate the annotations okay so let's just add these annotations over here and again sync it okay this is again successfully built now once you basically for annotation what you need to do is that once you have something like this uh, you will need to um, define a ksp as well basically for the annotation processing okay so basically for that, what we are going to do is that in, I'm going to use this KSP version over here into this plugin section. This is um, something like this and you will sync it. So once you add this, it will allow you to add the KSP uh, inside this dependencies, something like this. So this is again required for the compiler for, for the annotations. So this is important and you will replay oh sorry let's just sync it and okay i think it's done and now you can replace it with the this one oh right uh you can also do uh the similar thing for for this as well for the uh ksp plugin as well so you can say kotlin ksp is something like this and for rather than using kotlin let's use ksp I think that should be fine, right? 2.0.1 is the one version that you can use. So, or no, 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 it's not that. It should be different than one we, what we have. So let's just get rid of this instead. And yeah, add over here this KSP with, along with the version. You can replace it with this one. And now you can use, like if you sync it, you can use, let's use alias libs dot plugins dot kotlin dot ksp so i think that's something you can do and once you build that hopefully this time it will be done okay so now the project is ready uh basic basic stuff is there for for coin and now we need to do uh is the coin integration right so right now i'm gonna do over here go over here click on this section create a kotlin class and let's call it musify app okay and this is going to be a class that extend application application okay so that's something uh we need and then over here inside this um on create section this is the section where i'll basically start coin so i'm gonna use start coin like this and uh, over here we'll basically define some some sort of things for example you can define the android context as this musify app now the one more thing that we need to do is that basically since this is annotation and uh, let's say for example uh, we want to create one more package let's create a package call it as as data and inside that data create a kotlin class and let's just create a temp service okay so this is basically a time service and we will set it as single annotation. We will add this single annotation to this. And once you do that, you can just run it for one time. I think uh, the next thing you can do is that you can get over here and add this default modules to, to your project. So basically this default module uh, will add all the uh, 
classes and objects of those classes uh, which basically we uh, annotate uh, with either single or let's say if we want to uh, make it a coin view model so we can say coin view model like we do for health view model so so like all these things rather than having that module and then defining all those single entries and then all uh, singleton entries and things like that you can just directly do it by this uh, using the coin annotation which makes it very simpler and easier for uh, for us to access okay so now uh, this is done uh, the next thing uh, i think we need to do is that we need to uh, integrate uh, retrofit okay so basically uh, we will what we'll do is that we'll integrate the retrofit uh, we will create a network module for that we will create the relevant things uh, that we need and then we will use it with coin um in 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 one of our class and maybe make a web call a uh, very dummy web call to see how how everything is working okay so the thing is that again for retrofit what we need is that we will get over here and add these implementations for retrofit again there are some latest versions so make sure that you use the latest versions for this and uh, i think once you do that you can just sync it and this will work okay so now uh, the this is done and now let's just change it change it to it just happen and you can also do this so that we have everything in the catalog and the build file griddle file is clean so we'll just rebuild this now so inside this di package let's just do a couple of more things for example create a class and call that as network module so this is basically going to be a network module for us and now we can annotate it with a module again pretty similar to what we had for um for our hilt so so now inside that we will create different kind of functionality like different kind of functions that will provide different kind of stuff for us so i'm going to say provide uh, logging logging interceptor it will be giving you all those uh, logs that you need require and then we will be creating single create an http client uh, so basically this ok http client is just uh, for adding this interceptor into this and then after that we will be creating a ok http or sorry retrofit I, uh, builder for that so we can just import that and now you can see that everything is there right and now uh, once that is done uh, the next thing would be to create an api service now over here inside this we'll create a new package let's call it network network okay now over here let's create a kotlin file call it an interface call it api service just an interface for this so now over here you can define your like endpoints for example something like this that we have so so an endpoint with an OK HTTP response, let's say something like this. Okay. So now uh, this is basically a API service that we created and we'll go over here to uh, an annotation and we'll again create a single. Then over here from over here, we'll basically define this API service that we have and now we will basically do something like this that will create this api service for us okay so now uh once that is done you will go to the app over here and now from over here you will do something like this so basically i basically build the project that's why it's showing like this uh if you don't build the project you might not get this so just make sure to build this uh once and then once that you build it you you should be able to get this and now we will do is that we will try to run this and hopefully once you run this this will uh, fix the issue okay now you can see uh, the app should run properly and we should also be able to set up our modules accordingly okay now now I, this is done uh, so basically what we have done till now is that we set it up set up some default modules those modules that we will be creating through our through annotations and then we also created some modules which we basically want to automatically create uh, from from this for example all these uh, that we have created over here uh, so so i think that's pretty much uh, what exactly we want now i'll just 
show you how we can access the server. So I'm going to run the server. Okay. So now basically this is done. And now what we need to do is that we will basically, uh, first thing that we need to do over here is that we'll get over here, create a over here in the data package, create a package, call it repository. Okay. And now inside this repository, let's just create a Kotlin class and call it status repository. This will be something like this. And now we will be using as API service, not temp service instead. API service, call it API service as well. I think that should be the, something like this. And now we will be using this api service dot get something something like this okay i'm gonna make it a suspend function and also one more thing that we need to do is this is something we need as status okay and let's call it response retrofit response as string so that's something we do okay so the status repository is done uh okay we can make maybe add something like this no fail like you fail something like this okay so basically if its body is uh, okay which means that the server is running else it will not run so we'll get fail for that okay that's done okay now over here we'll go create a new kotlin class let's create a main view model for that and this is going to be an extension of view model class. This is done. And now over here, I'm going to use coin view model annotation for this. And let's just create some state for that. So I'm going to private wall state. State is equals to mutable state flow of an empty string. And then we'll be using as shared flow. Then we'll create a function. Get status okay and then for that we need the repository right so i'm gonna do over here is i'm gonna say wall repository as status repository and then we'll say view model view model scope dot launch okay so i think that's something we should do once we do that we will be able to imp okay i think there's one more thing that i missed so yes that should be view model scope dot launch and then over here we'll be basically using this and you can get rid of this okay so now this is a function and we will be using in it to get status something like this make it a private as well now we go over here to the main activity and now let's just create the view model for that. So I'm going to say wall view model is equals to, sorry, uh, as main view model is equals, sorry, by view models. I think that should be enough. Now over here, let's do something as wall state is equals to view model collect as state and do something like this. So basically if it's empty, if it's not empty, we'll show the status. If not, it's loading. I think that's pretty much it should be doing. And now let's just try to build and see if it works. Okay, so now it's ran and then crashed let's see what happens it says that the view model was not created and the reason could be down there okay so the status repository is having some problem so let's just go to the status oh okay so this is a silly mistake you need to define a single as well so that it can in initiate or you need to provide that uh, from the from the modules since we were not doing either of them i think that was the reason now again okay it crashed again i think this is this time something uh, else it's saying that there is no one with the data and it could be because of the permission so yes this is again something we need to do so let's just add the permission uh, permission android sorry 
it should be uses permission and we will be using it as internet that's one thing uh, you can do let's just change these values to the icon that we have so maybe drawable i see logo use this which looks better and we will be able to see that in the in the screen as well okay now there is this one more thing in the network module is this api.example.com since we are not using that we are using 10.0.2.2 and that is also http and we also use 8080 so i think that is something that we need to define so that we can access our server and now let's run and see if everything works as expected okay build ran okay again it crashed something happened so it says that the clear text again okay we can use that so you can use this clear text text traffic for this so that it can allow the uh, http request now let's just try once again what happened now okay i think so now over here let's just do one more thing and call it json is equals to json builder and you can pass that into this try this once again hopefully this time it will work let's see or we'll have to change the backend response for for how we want to show that this means if i and see what happens over here okay so basically now this is basic uh the expected response for this is a map so maybe we can create a map of string comma string as a map and then if we go to the repository it will complain because again we will be getting sorry dot get as status so I think that's something it should be. Let's just try once more. Okay, it looks like now it worked and now you can see the status is also okay, which means that the server is running and we are able to do it uh, with all these annotations and all these things. So basically what we did over here is that we um, integrated the retrofit. We created some dem some temp or like temporary stuff. We will get rid of those. Um, but for now, like we just added it. And uh, you can see that now all the annotations, everything is working along with the annotation and we don't need to um, create those singles and view models, uh, separate module file for, for coin. So basically it's pretty, this is pretty much uh, it for, for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any question, queries, please let me know in the comment box or you can join my Discord server as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't forget any update. If you got any question, you can join my Discord server. The link is in the description. Also, for quick updates and tips, you can follow me on Instagram. Until next time, keep learning, keep developing. Bye.